Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about the pharmacology of cyclophosphamide. Cyclophosphamide is a powerful immunosuppressant with rapid onset of action days to weeks. Cyclophosphamide is a popular chemotherapy agent used to treat lymphoma, multiple myeloma, and leukemia. In rheumatology, it has a role in the treatment of vasculitis, life-threatening complications of systemic lupus erythematosus, as well as interstitial lung disease. Cyclophosphamide is an alkylating agent and works by disrupting the cell cycle, targeting rapidly dividing cells such as cancer cells, as well as immune cells, which will subsequently cause immunosuppression. For this example, let us just say cyclophosphamide is used to treat rheumatological conditions. So the aim is to suppress the immune system here. Normally, the immune cells enter the cell cycle to proliferate. The G1 phase prepares the cell to enter the S phase, where DNA is replicated. Cyclophosphamide is an alkylating agent, and its mechanism of action include attachment of alkyl groups to DNA bases, specifically guanine. This causes an abnormal DNA. DNA is damaged, forming crosslinks, which are bonds between atoms in the DNA. These crosslinks and this abnormal mutation now prevents DNA from being uh, essentially separated for synthesis or transcription. And usually, if this is not corrected by the DNA repair mechanism, apoptosis occurs, resulting in immunosuppression, essentially. Cyclophosphamide essentially causes the cell to arrest at the G1 phase, preventing the S phase from occurring. And the cell will essentially enter apoptosis, programmed cell death. This will cause a decrease in the number of dividing cells, such as the immune cells, but also the cancer cells, because cancer cells are rapidly dividing. Now, side effects then of cyclophosphamide include immunosuppression, leukopenia, which increases the risk of people getting infections, hemorrhagic cystitis, ovarian failure, cardiac dysfunction, as well as long-term risks of bladder cancer, leukemia, and lymphoma. And that concludes the overview of the pharmacology of cyclophosphamide. Thank you for watching.